Uh, Honorable Hassan, is this a lack of proper leadership or a show of vibrance in the political system of the Kenya Kwanzaa team where we are open to say what you believe in as a leader without necessarily being castigated? Well, I think the, this is a reflection of the nature of uh, our political parties we have in our country. Uh, we don't have a deep-rooted, ideologically-based and coherent political parties. Uh, what we have are parties that are created um, for um, elections, uh, uh, kind of a mishmash uh, of alliances, uh, of individuals, uh, what some people might call a distributed uh, uh, democracy. Uh, and in that situation, uh, all kinds of people come together. Uh, like look at uh, UDA was just created at the last minute uh, in order to, uh, to be a vehicle. Yeah. Uh, what um, Kiraito Morungi normally calls uh, the matatu politics of our country. You go into a matatu that takes you to the destination you want. And once you get there, you get off. Now, it, was, it never had any structures. The main brand was William Ruto. Uh, and um, everybody coalesced around uh, that particular leader uh, to form this particular uh, movement. And everybody got into that matatu uh, at the last minute. There were no party structures. Yeah. There was no branches. Uh, and now that uh, there's an effort by the leader of that particular, by the driver of that matatu, to create some kind of order, uh, create a structure, then there is a very um, deadly uh, jostle mm. for positions. Because if you're not in that matatu, your future in the next election is going to be to be in a serious doubt. So this is about 2026. Absolutely. Even about the current. Absolutely. So when you talk about jitters and splits, yeah. I don't think there is really a serious serious um, a problem in uh, in that uh, movement because it has got a very strong leader, yeah. a very determined and a very focused leader. Yeah. Um, the problem of managing these um, uh, passengers, this uh, who are coming onto the bad uh, wagon. Uh, is always a crisis that leads uh, to the collapse or to the disintegration of some of these political parties. Yeah. As we have seen with Jubilee, as we have seen with PNU, uh, we have seen many of this uh, in all the political parties because they're not deep-rooted. Yeah. They're going to be kept. And as long as the leader uh, looks popular and um, has uh, popular support, then he would have this problem of hangers on who wants to be part of that particular success and to use that vehicle for yes. their own personal benefit. Okay. So that's what I see if you look at the political form. Unless we get uh, to a position where that political parties are driven by uh, I uh, ideological reasons yeah. and members are in there because they believe in the philosophy of that particular party, yeah. then we're always going to have this uh, uh, jostling and contest and uh, what the media may, may consider as a... Uh, uh, splits and disputes. Okay. But overall, this vehicle belongs to uh, William Ruto, the President of the Republic of Kenya. Okay. And he will take it where he wants. And those who want to follow him uh, would have to fall in place, yeah. closer uh, to the election time. And there are those who will fall off as well. Yeah, of and course. There will be a lot of splits. There will be a lot of realliances. Yeah. And I think uh, some of the utterances that have been made by some of the leading members of this formation uh, does not augur well uh, for the, the run to the next election. Mm. Um, the current uh, leader probably would not want um, to antagonize any section of the country because he is um, he's looking at the scenario of who is going to be his next, um, uh, which, which uh, support would come from which region. Yeah. And he wants to be seen uh, as someone who is carrying the whole country rather than b by catering for a particular region, yeah. despite the fact that he got enormous votes uh, in some of those regions. So we're already seeing a realignment, reorganization, uh, 